FaZe versus Mouse Sport. This push coming in from Mouse Sports. And you can see the wonderful folks over at Betway place this slightly in favor of the FaZe clan. It's going to be all the frags going the way of FaZe early on. Sunny left in a 1v4. Well, he has found the first. He's going to get dropped by Carrigan. So FaZe, a 1 0 start here. Their chances are going to be fleeting at that point your own fate anymore that last day is always fun because it's just teams watching hoping a certain team gets this many rounds or wins this map in overtime or whatever but That's this round us. is a bit of a speedy one for mouse sports they kill guardian instantly on middle so the orbs being dropped over to oscar which is always a uh, bit of a worry now mouse sports back down a man as carrigan bales phase over four it's going to be rops forcing rain out into the open with a molotov yeah, they've slowed right down, but actually they are now going to peek on into this. And Oscar, the new in-game leader, and the old left up for this phase plan. Nico going to have to roll back to his roots of being a hard carry. He is good for one, but Oscar continuing to put up the numbers here. Has dispatched of him, leaving Carrigan now in this clutch situation. 1v2, the bomb going to go down with seconds to spare. And Carrigan rounds the corner. Oscar's homing down his sights and now sports. Going to be picking up their first buy round. Well, the mouse did get 2 0 last night by Big Harry. That's a bit of an edge. Oh, Garden, he doesn't shoot. He had the lineup. It's only going to get that kill. And he even does further damage to Olaf, who does molly off this position. Smoke down in the spawn, blooming for Sunny. And he's trying to catch Olaf repositioning inside of this bomb site. He may as well, pushing in through the fire. It's good. Olaf's down. And Sunny's making this one work for the team. Another kill coming in through the smoke as Carrigan shows his face. I mean, There's a gonna, replay. We're going to get the replay of that Sunny, uh, sunny clip. That's always good but first let's see bomb site now sports knocking on the door of phase rops picks up ray nico at this point you know he's lost his teammate rops nice. gonna go to find another we're back in with a big old buy ray really aggressive but nice trade down middle it's actually oscar going down after picking up rage down from carrigan if he wide peaks here it could be very well timed but there are two players do they line up carrigan gets one and the second and Stiko's going to walk right into this off angle. Stiko, sorry, no AWP here. Guardian is said shuts down short, getting robs. Nico dinked through the corner, so Stiko's not going to be able to find that kill. But any damage he can get would be fantastic. Try and force those rebuys from FaZe, but Carrigan's on the AWP. It gives him a bit more freedom to try and take this fight versus the man in pit. Ray getting him on the top down in the open. Oh. He takes the fight, and he's going to win almost all of them. FaZe could be a serious way back into this. And already Guardian, this time going to best Oscar. Now the rest of our sports moving towards Banana. Mom gets spotted out and actually dropped in the open. Sunny falls, and now this has prompted the rotation back in from Carrigan. Our sport's going to continue just walking on him, but into the firing line once again. A missed shot from Olaf. He certainly doesn't miss it the second time around. And lock as of right now. Yeah. Not looking. Throw some, some chunks of meat. And so he's going to be made the chunk of meat. If he doesn't hurry up, he's cooked alive in his own Molotov. Kill right now. He's focused on opening things up, but he's done exactly that. Chris J dead. Flashbang's good. So Molotov can come through. But Rops has gone ahead of it. And look at Olaf in the edge of the side as well. It's Carrigan, rather, getting d dominated. Guardian has to try and find something sooner rather than later. Nico in from the spawn. Good for one. They have to deal with these players. And now Oscar emerging from the banana. Guardian finds himself locked in the 1v2. And with it all to do, it's too much to ask. Up to 40 points of health. Carrigan's still here as well. Oh, he has an opportunity. Flash, Sunny going to get that kill. Nice shot. But he wasn't great for them either. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh. Give Oscar, you know, sonar-like vision as to where he might be. Now Chris J chiming in with another. Guardian going to try and aggress. And everywhere they turn, Oscar's there. But Guardian, but he's not looking to... Uh, oh, never mind. He actually does I have to try and get past Sunny. He lies in wait. Flashed off the angle right now. Their time still. Nico able to find it now. Just Stiko and Chris J. After time ticked on down for this bomb, Nico going to do damage onto Stiko and throws in this Molotov. Does force them out of the open, but Stiko takes all the fights and wins them to boot. So now Sports will be winning out the half here on Inferno, eight to seven. I think you've got to bear in mind who else we have in there. You know, you have teams like Fragsters. You got, you know, your, uh, your Team Spirits, your Optic Gamings. Etc. Etc. There's so many good teams down at MDL right now. But anyway, Reigns open this round up. Guardians chimed in with another. So FaZe looking oh, uh, like they've had a change of heart. Actually, they want to try and win this game out. That makes Still, sense. It's nice that we I didn't even know they were in MDL. To yeah, be fair. me either. So. so. Shout out to those guys. Eight to eight. We're tied up here. Yeah, lack of armor that Chris J has. 
Deco gets caught with that smoke out. And Oscar. Trying to hold things off, Sonny. And with that frag, that's the long drop. All players coming his way. It does find decent damage. Now, bullets raining down from the top of mid. And Oscar, he's picked up the double. I mean, maybe even wants to die. He's going to get more money for that anyways. But uh, opportunistic, maybe. Oh, Guardian getting wrecked out in middle early on. Chris J and Sonny repositioning. Carrigan coming in with that huge flank, but with Mouseports going back towards the site, they have their back turned. Carrigan does get Sonny, but Chris J's cornered in between four players now. He needs to get himself a couple of kills, and Chris does exactly that. And more! A oh third from Chris J. Goodness. So good with this AWP. Look at him go! And Carrigan, all that stands here for FaZe. Yeah, it was looking like such a good round for FaZe. Chris J is torn it all apart. He will get finished off by Carrigan, but surely the Lone Dane can't get them back into this round and try as he might. He's going to get put down there. Secondary AWP on Chris J up here at the top of Banana. We've seen he's been an absolute mess. But this time, uh, off the B bombs, so bombs here at A. And Rops, maybe he can find something. Maybe he can look to make this round possible. Indeed, he cannot. The bomb plant comes in, and that will be the round going the way of FaZe, you imagine. Mouse Sports, yeah, they're just going to back yeah. away and save. Uh, uh, Nico, middle of the board for FaZe, 22. Yeah, they've only got 25 seconds left. They're committed now. They're, they're in for the ride. And Nico. He's able to find one. That's Nico to go down. Rock's just waiting in the pit. The smokes are down to cut him off and leave him isolated from the rest of his team, at least for the time being. Although... This also means that he hasn't been properly cleared out yet. And now they know of the man down in the pit. It's Rops. He's trapped regardless. Some Asports have to try and make something come of this. They can't just leave him in the pit to die. Oh, and Rops, no. he's continuing this good form. He's able to go ahead and find himself another. He's made this possible. Guardian on short. Good for one. Rain trades it back. It's a very back and forth round, but you still have Rops to worry about. He has to try and get into the fray. He has to try and help out, and Carrigan's going to catch him now. Just Oscar left up, and Carrigan doubles down. That's the round going the way of phase 12 to 12, all tied up now. It's been saving. He may save the game for our sports here, but already Chris J has been dropped at the top of the man on the sandbags right now. It doesn't seem like that's the case. Maybe the nade gave up the angle and Sonny's going to be able to take down uh, take down Guardian instead. Rain flashed on round. Oscar going to miss the timing there onto the players down in mid. Oh, but he doesn't miss the timing onto Raid. That's a big advantage to take and now going to be given another opportunity. He does just back away. Nico, in the meantime, already blitzing his way down through short, trying to carve apart. He's gone past Rops, he's picked up Oscar, he's looking for a little bit more. Nico is absolutely unreal. 29 kills, and he's opened up the A bomb site. He used to be Odin's A. That's yeah, right. Odin's say. Look, say look. too much longer, though. They'll commit with this execute. Nico's up on top. We've seen Rops use this position before. So they are going to expect it, and a bit, bit of a shot from Rain, pre aiming the angle and getting the kill. At the best of games thus far. But he's going to get tested now. We need to see that return to form as they try and split in toward this B bomb site. They picked off Sonny. And so now we're looking at Chris J. Now Chris J, we have a lot of memories of Aces and Chris J. Or big performances from Chris J with this AWP. Looking to try and roll back to New York. Takes that peek onto Guardian. More players coming his way. 20 seconds left. And now it's all eyes onto Chris J. Oh. And while he does tag up Rain, one Molotov on Rops. That does at least force... Uh, no one on oranges, so it doesn't matter. Has missed its mark, I guess. And Rops goes running into rain. Oscar, so many angles to check, and he will fall, which means FaZe, they're going to be the team closing out this first map. They move one and up in this series, a must win series. Thank you very much to our wonderful Observer team as well for giving me the gift of vision. As now Guardian pushes on in. It's going to be damage done onto Rops down in CT. Chris J desperately trying to step up. But actually, he's somehow good for two. Very much overstaying his welcome. And Nico and Rain hauling FaZe back into this round. There's a few seconds left. Oscar trying to deny this bomb plot. Swings on in and does pluck off Nico. Now it is just Rain and Olaf left alive. But Olaf's position still unknown. Still that X factor in this round four phase now he's got to come up trumps he had a pretty weak performance over on inferno has to turn it around here the bomb isn't planted for him and they're on it olaf has to push on in he has to try and deny this bomb plant now and it doesn't happen well, yeah <laughs> but uh rob's Ooh, from within like ct this. he's looking to try and deal damage as opposed to anything else and he does actually pick off rain from a top of that boost now the bomb looking to go down <laughs> and olaf with this tech nine he's embracing some changes chris j in the meantime with the organ hand peeking on in uh-oh 
Uh-oh, Oscar, he's done a good job to get here. And now he's trying to uncover where the rest of the boys are at. Actually only good for one before Carrigan gets that trade. 3v3 with the bomb planted for Connector. This is a great spot for FaZe. Yeah, they actually mollied that player out of position. But Carrigan, he's going to catch Stiko moving in through the Connector. FaZe starting to hold on to this post part, but Chris J, he doesn't want to give them the opportunity. Expecting this man up in the palace, but the crossfire from FaZe has been established. And that bomb needs to be stuck right now, but Nico sticks a bullet in the head of Rops and make that two, in fact. Nice round from Nico on the Deagle. As you peek onto the Connector through. Oscar watching for the self boost, and he's ready for that. Rain's going to walk to his death. you have to pay for is arguably even worse, yeah. right? So... Unless you're doing some like scientific testing and getting uh, paid. Yeah, but getting that's that's not the same. What is Chris J? And uh, let me tell you, he's gonna go ahead and strike down Guardian. Nico. And the nade oh. might be there to finish him off. Ooh, not quite Steco. Time is great for Nico. He's wrapped all the way back around middle. That bomb part's still open. Sonny's killed Carrigan on the ramp, but he can stop the bond defuse right here, and that's going to win the round. There's surely no way they can get back on this defuse. Both players low HP. Steco taps it to bait Nico in, but he's not falling for this trick. It's going to be the round going the way of FaZe Clan. We've got to worry about the fact the mouse spots are pushed deep into the apartment. steco has got a lot of information. That should allow for Oscar to rotate off the back of that, and Chris J only confirms the allegations that FaZe are pushing this A-bomb site. Rain barreling in, flashes now pull through, but Rops holding his own, doing a great job of stopping this offense and now relies heavily on Chris J from CT to try and help him out. And while only 30 seconds after bomb dropped up on Tetris for Nico, the game is very much just beginning. And uh, Sunny, oh, finally able to grab that bomb up top of the stairs to try and shut him down. I mean, some little Vision. icons and look at Carrigan look at this speed from FaZe they are going so fast into this A bomb site they're doing the same again but speedier than ever Rops is going to shut it down Chris J is here as well Rops well he will get overwhelmed the AWP still sits strong in the CT spawn he's going to dive on in no no we've seen Chris J in this position before Harry anything can happen and that includes Olaf Meister taking him down Ooh, oh, but Sonny, oh, oh, oh. I've found my glasses. He's found his X-ray specs as he takes one down in through the smoke. So right now, Nico being over towards ramp could oh. be more of a bless. Uh, could be more of a curse than a blessing. And Sonny able to continue this good form. Guardian left in a one v three, yet to post a kill, and sadly it doesn't change in this round. Mouse Sports going to be picking up a tenth here as they hold strong in the retake once again. Second top of the server, Harry, despite being ten to three down. That's insane. I mean, even if you actually add Olaf into the equation he's still got the same amount of kills as the entire team put together and now he's got more Nico finding the opener here for FaZe he's been the only man alongside Olaf doing anything and all a vow of silence he's now looking to try and continue to find success but instead he's going to get shut down by Oscar now it's Nico and Ray 16 kills between them Nico. Uh, Nico. Oh, Nico. Four by three, four by three, and Oscar gonna find it now. Rain in the one v one hasn't put up much of a performance, but he's gonna make the one v three happen. Four on phase. They've got a Mac Ten in this round. Money really coming back to haunt them. Oscar shutting down middle. Look at Chris J. I mean, this guy has just got uh, the balls of steel, and he is going right in for more. Nico even gonna be plucked out of thin air as well on mouse boards. They've just run wild over this round. It's the Orpers paradise. Olaf, he will trade with the Mac Ten. Oh, Guardian's going to win it, but the bomb's on the back of Olaf, and Oscar's already here. He's isolated, and now it falls to God. As he hops down into this B-bomb site, takes the fight onto Sunny, and Sunny's going to win it. So now Sport's up 11 to 4. Yet to find anything, but now they smoke and flash on the back of it. Rain, normally so proficient in these pistol rounds, going to miss the opening volley, and the flashes keep on raining in towards CT. Rain backed into a corner, left to fight for his life, but he's going to win the fight. Nico's here to help out, and... Chris J decided that maybe he doesn't want to be here now. Does get popped off by Guardian. Now leaving Rops and Stiko up. Two on five here for Mouse Sports will be required. And surely they don't manage to get this done. Nico picking them apart. And Guardian going to chime in with the last kill of the round. Aragon as well. The Molotov's down for phase. This gives them time to rotate. They're going to be ready for this one. Another Molotov at 30 seconds. Mouse Sports are going to get cut out of this round unless they smoke that off. But they don't have the utility to do so. Nico's found revenge with that frag onto Sunny. And now Mouse Sports desperately running to B. But phase, they've worked it out. The third rotation is here from Guardian. And Mouse Sports aren't even out of the apartments yet.
Yeah, 14 seconds. This round's over already. Mouse Sports just gonna save with four. Give it a go in the next round. Or, or, or it wasn't funny and I met, like pushed it out of my brain. Oh, okay, he's gonna have to play something a little bit faster. That's why Chris Jay's here and he's gonna get spotted there by Carrigan. Oh, but oh, he's looking God. good. Does pick up that first kill. Olaf able to trade for short, but instantly Rops is there. Just through. Rops avoids it. Nico should be dead here and Rops is gonna find that frag looking back towards the market for a little bit more. Guardian walks into the orb of Oscar. Pistols, Ray. Oh, surprises, Rops. Hello. He might go for a little bit more as well. That orb has dropped over. Rain's doing it all on his own. Oh my god, Rain. The knife is out. Oscar takes him down. That is so good for Rain. This game a bit more now. And here we go. Early on, Mouse Sports setting up these nades. He smokes these flashbangs in towards this A bomb site, but it looks like a fake because that bomb currently sits up in the apartment. That's it, phase four for this one. The problem is there's one man committed to the bomb site. So if Mouseports don't get rid of him, Rain knows that this is not an A play. He's not calling for rotates, but he does get that first kill. No one else shifting from phase, and there we go. That's a commitment to the site being enough. Carrigan's the only man on B, and he's been having a bit of a rough game. Luckily, Olaf's here to bail him out. The other side. Oh, that miss jump is awkward. Yeah, Carrigan heard that, and that's an easy pick. Retrieve that. They try and back away, they try and save. Side. Counter terrorists win. Only just strafing out in the middle. Sonny's close on the ramp as well, so... Aggressive positioning here from the secret side. They get caught, and Sonny does exactly that, taking the kill to their advantage even, because they've actually crossed a man all the way to Tetris. One over on the side of FaZe, and you've already lost Nico. He's been the man to do it. You lose the other point man in the form of Olaf, and Carrigan just going to get dispatched of Oscar chiming in. And it's going to be the attempt to fall in towards the team. Obviously, like Carrigan gets caught out, and now Olaf has to step up massively. So many players coming his way, and Olaf still alive, still fighting. He's going to get completely oh, surrounded, but he's the gift that keeps on giving. Three kills in this round now as Oscar left up. Gonna drop on down into the bomb site. Chris J now the last man as the bomb plant gets denied and finds himself locked in this 1v3. We've seen some fantastic things from this man. We've got to see it once again up here in the palace. Going to be facing off against Olaf Meister. And Olaf wins that fight easily. Throwing their own molly down towards Sound, which they've cleared out that position. At the very least, Rain spotted, but Olaf continuing to put up these numbers, manages himself a second and keeps the advantage in favor of FaZe, but it's instantly taken away from them. Sunny emerging from the connector. Guardian watching the cross and Oscar chiming in with that frag onto Olaf. The bomb has to try and get by. The Guardian. Flash. Guardian. Walking down is Sunny. Chris J deep in the spawn with an incendiary for the bomb as well. Oh, brother, that's a smoke. Carrigan creeping on through. He knows Sunny's on the stairwell. Oh, he should see that gun. There it is. He's going to get the kill. Now he knows that Chris J's in the spawn as well, or at least he has an idea. Can't find any other positions to see Chris J, and Chris J is going to peek the second Carrigan taps that bomb. 14 rounds to Mouse Sports. Palace, they're already in the bomb site. Reigns up close to the ramp, but he's going to get detected and finished off by Steve. So the guys might follow suit. It's round pie as well, so they can not afford to lose more players. Sunny finding two in the connector. Oh, this is such a mistake, and Nico's even going to go down. Sonny already down to his short, and he's already plucked the foal off Meister. Carrigan going to get burnt out and bought down to his knees. 45 HP left on the man. These rotations coming in from FaZe, and they're just going to all in this. All four players looking to try and get here. Carrigan has to buy time, has to try and keep Mouse Sports at bay. Instead, he's going to get spotted. The rest of the boys barreling on in from FaZe. The flashes are there, and Sonny doing a boatload of damage. Going to get helped out by Oscar. It's all on to Nico. And as good as he's been, a 1v5 of just a Deeg is asking far too much of the man. That is going to be Mouse Sports closing out this map as they split the series with FaZe.